So in this video, I'm going to be talking about UDP and TCP. These are two major transport protocols and are important to know as they explain how data can be moved around the network in different ways. The reason I'm also doing this video is because there is a good chance that you'll be asked these questions on exams that you do, so it's worth knowing. The UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol and it is super lightweight due to its small packet size, around 60%. UDP headers are 8 bytes versus TCP headers which are 20 bytes. UDP is also connectionless, meaning that packets can be sent but not necessarily received by the target and a connection does not have to be established or maintained. Also, you can have more control over when data is being sent. Another key fact about UDP is that there is no error recovery, whereas TCP will try to resend a corrupt piece of data. UDP will simply discard it. Also, there is no protection for lost packets. Data that is sent over a UDP protocol will be sent once and only once. If a packet is lost, it will not be resent. UDP also does not guarantee that packets will arrive in the original order that they were sent out in. There are, is also no kind of congestion control that can stop a network from flooding. UDP will just keep trying to get that data out onto the network, which is why packets can be dropped more often. So the main con of UDP is that it's unreliable, but really lightweight, which makes it great for sending things with speed such as video, music and online games. When you get packet loss you will experience teleporting or stuttering, as the packet of data you should have got was not there, and you simply teleported to the next packet. Let's move on to TCP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol, which is reliable and connection based. The main difference of TCP is how it controls packets and how those packets arrive at a target. There's a lot more talking going on. TCP has a three-way handshake that has to take place to establish a connection before data is sent, where UDP it will just send the data regardless. Imagine this, the sender will ask the target if they want to connect. The target will agree, and then the sender will send another packet that acknowledges that the connection is taking place, and then send the data. This also happens at the end of the connection. Once the connection has been established, there are a wide range of possibilities, such as delivery acknowledgements, where the target will tell the sender that they received a packet. TCP also has retransmission, which will resend packets when the target doesn't acknowledge a packet has been received within a certain amount of time. Also, TCP segments are numbered so that they stay in order. So whatever order they are sent to a target, they will also be received and put together in that order. Packets can still arrive onto the transport layer out of order, but they will be rearranged before they are sent to the application layer. TCP also has congestion control, where it will delay transmissions when the network is congested. Error detection also happens on all transmissions, whereas UDP will only perform error detection on IPv6. So let's talk about some disadvantages of TCP. The header for TCP is bigger than UDP, around 60%. Also, transmission doesn't always get sent immediately due to congestion control. Also, with TCP, there is a bigger overhead, meaning you need more bandwidth as there is a lot more talking going on the network, such as retransmission, freeway handshakes that happen twice per connection, and acknowledgement of packets. A good way to remember the difference is that UDP is message orientated, meaning that data is sent in chunks, kind of like sending a text message, while TCP is a stream orientated and it is a continuous stream of data which is split up into chunks, kind of like a phone call. A common phrase is which is better or which should I use, but honestly it works in a case by case scenario, meaning depending on your situation will depend on which transmission protocol you use. For example, downloading files and sending text-based messages, TCP would be best as you don't want to risk losing packets or corrupting packets. If you're wanting to stream audio or video, then UDP is the best, as a couple of missing packets won't make a difference. Also, small transmissions will work well for UDP as well, because there is an unlikely chance that the packet will be lost, and you don't need to slow down the transmission due to connections being established.